Oh, you too. What's going on, man? I uh, just want to show you a little rocket. I'm kind of in the process of doing a safety test. I'm taking every, all the ammo out. Uh, I normally do this before the video starts. This thing got started. I, I thought I had it on pause. But anyway, doing uh, the safety test so I can get in here and, and show you guys a little something. Uh, I takes everything out of the chamber and leaves nothing up here in the, in the barrel. And it's all cleaned out there. But... <clears throat> Just want to get in here and show you something right quick. Uh, by the way, if I didn't say so, my name is Jack. Hi, how y'all doing? Appreciate you watching. Uh, AK, uh, AK. Why do I keep wanting to say AK? This is SKS. Okay. This is one that my boys gave me uh, a few years ago. Uh, nice paint job, though. I, yeah, I've done that myself a couple years ago. Uh, didn't think much of it when I first done it. It's gonna cover it back up, but then after I looked at it a couple of days, it kind of started growing on me. I was gonna turn this thing upside down so you can see the other side. Uh, SKS. This is my new deer hunting rifle. This is what I've been using. Flashlight. Look at there. Right there on top of the barrel. Oh, no, it ain't. Turn something back over. It's on the bottom of the barrel. Just like that. See? Uh, yeah, it works. We've been no good if it didn't work. Whoa! Where'd y'all go? Oh, there you go. Alright. Uh, a little flashlight on the end of it. The only reason it's on there, it helps me get in and out of the woods before sunrise and after sundown. It helps me get in and out of the woods. You know how woods are sometimes? You stumble over a rock or a stump or even a vine. Or you don't, so that's why I got it on there so I don't stumble. I'm kind of old, clumsy. You know. My mom don't admit it, but I think I was dropped when I was a kid. You know, my mind just don't. Anyway, uh, I kind of wonder. Y'all ever wandered around once in a while? Your mind just won't stay on one subject. And you just, uh, you know. uh, oh, it's called tension. Anyway. Uh, AK. There I go with AK again. Somebody. <coughs> SKS, folks. Yeah. Nice homemade paint job on it. All. I use it for deer hunting. Uh, I've used it the last couple of years. Works really great for deer hunting. Uh, just wanted to throw that in there and show it to you. Uh, something else I wanted to mention right quick. Uh, I don't know if you guys mess with them or not, but uh, the little snap caps. You know, you put it in the, in the barrel, and you can fire it, and it releases the firing pin, and the firing pin hits that little dot on the back right there. You can see, right there. You can see where this has been hit a couple times. Uh, this is for a 7.62 point by 3.9. That's what shoots in this thing right here. Oh, we'll get that finger up. That's what shoots in this thing right here, uh, along with your AK-47s. That's the same round. But like I say, you, just, you load that right into the barrel, and then you can release it, and then you know, you... Your firing pin springs not in compressed all the time, so I, I like to use those. If you don't use them, you might want to think about it. Uh, it, it keeps that spring from losing any of its tension. Um, but I just wanted to show it real quick. Uh, this here has got the side mounted scope mount on it. It is, you know, mounts to the side of the housing. That way you can actually see under. If you wanted to use the, the hard mounts, you know, you can just get right up under it and you still use the still use the steel sights on it. Uh, just want to throw that in there. That's what I've been using the last couple of years for deer hunting. Like I said, uh, around here, about 100 yards hmm, is, is about where you... Oh, I kicked my dog. I'm going to give her a little petting so she won't think I'm mad at her. Uh, now, there is a place on the back. Uh, you can get up to about 180 yard shot. Uh, I've got a son that goes back there a good bit. That's where he likes to go. Uh, and he's killed two back there at about 170 yards uh, using a 270. So, uh, but most place where I hunt, my stands and stuff, I have probably anywhere from zero out to 30, 40 yards probably. So, any one of the stands I get into, that's about you know the maximum shot I can get. That SKS worked great. No problem whatsoever. Uh, another thing I want to show you real quick. Uh, it's nothing fancy. It's just something I, I converted. I don't know what you say converted or what you say. I changed stock on it. Okay, it's a Ruger 10-22, and you guys know what a Ruger 10-22 is. It's basically simple, very very good little 22 rifles. Uh, they're very common. Uh, you say 10-22. Everybody, most everybody in the world that knows anything about guns knows what a 10-22 Ruger is. Well, I changed stock out on this thing because I wanted something a little different. You know how I am. I, I'm, di I'm telling you folks, I'm different. Okay? Uh, oh, don't tell my granddaughter because this is her gun. And she hasn't shot it in a pretty good while. And I want to do a conversion. And I had this one handy. And so I'm going to try to get her another one and replace the one that she had. So, so don't tell my granddaughter about it. Okay. Uh, River 1022. I added a muzzle brake. 
to the end of it. Just to give it a little character out there on the end. And then I put this tactical uh, stock. Uh, actually, this is a Tamco. Actually, I had bought a couple of raffle tickets. Oh, real quick, while I'm thinking about it, let me show you this thing. It's not loaded. I even got the, the clip out of it. So, uh, got the standard clip right there. And I got some long clips. I got some 30 round clips for this thing. Oh, right back to what I was talking about. Uh, <clears throat> attention. I, I have a problem with attention stuff. So focus. Yeah. Um, Tamco, I had actually bought some raffle tickets. Uh, this was third prize for the raffle. I was really hoping for them to one prize though, because I wanted that Mossberg 500. Uh, it was really nice. Pump, it was really good. Back to the third prize. Uh, was this stock for a 1022. So I'm, I'm happy. I mean, I, this is fine with me. I'm happy. Uh, now it's got, it comes with two uh, shafts for the back stock, the straight one and the curved one. Now I put the straight one on it because I like the idea of it being straight, you know, the, the stock being straight. But the problem is this thing has got the see-through mounts for the scope and you can see the hard sights in there. Well, the problem is with the straight stock, I couldn't get my cheek down low enough to see the hard sights. Just couldn't get them down there. Well, I thought, well, let me put this on there and see if it makes a difference. I mean, it makes a world of difference. Because now I can, get my, I can get down here and I can see the hard sights, or I can just slide up a little bit and I've got the scope. So the scope is set up to get me out there at about 100 yards, and I can drop to the... <laughs> my dog has got gas. He's dang... Oh, uh, 100 yards for the scope, or... You know, anything closer, I can use the hard mouse. Well, that... Maxie. Goodness. Uh, I thought it was pretty nice. No scope ain't nothing fancy. It's a little bush nail scope. Uh, well, you can probably tell by the B right there. See, I saw I use that finger. But I'm not do that finger right there, see, that's a B. It's backwards, I know. I still ain't figured out how to turn this web count around where everything's the way it's supposed to be. Everything's backwards. But anyway, the B right there stands for bush nail. But I'm going to turn this thing around right here like this, like this. And you can see, even though it's backwards, you can see it says bush nail right there. Uh, really nice stock. Uh, Tamco has, has done a pretty good job with this. Uh, I like the pistol grip now instead of the rifle like this, you know, you're down to the pistol grip to where you can go one-handed if you had to with it, you know, just like that. Uh, nice little bush nail, pistol grip, it's got the drop stock, it's got the adjustable stock. Uh, and it's nice. That works for little short people like me or big people where you pull it out. Uh, anyway, it makes it a little more adjustable. You've got the top rail that goes across the top where you can add little toys if you want to. And yeah, the first thought is, yeah, you put something here, you can't see through the scope because it'll be able, you can get the little mounts that goes on here, it throws things at a 45 degree angle off the sides. And then you can mount flashlights up here if you wanted to or whatever. And then down here on the bottom, you've got your slick forearm, or it's actually rigid, but you can actually pull this lock release and it comes off. And I'm not going to take it all the way off, but you can see right there, uh, you turn right, you got a bottom rail. So you can hang flashlights, lasers, whatever you want to off the bottom if you wanted to. But I, I kind of like it with the, with the cover on it. Gives a good good smooth. And it's still rigid. You can see right there rigid. But it, it gives you a good forearm grip to get a hold of this thing. You, know, you want something you can hold on to. Alright. Now. Oh. It's got the mounts on the side. You can hook right here. Hook a uh, sling to it. It's also got your sling mount at the bottom down here. I, I, you sure? Yeah, now you can see it. So it's it's really a good Tamco uh, stock. It's a conversion kit. Uh, River 1022. Well, I said, don't tell my granddaughter. I got to get something to replace her, so she'll, you know, she won't know I've done all right. That's all I'm gonna do on this one. I'm gonna get on out of here because ain't no sense in taking up your time. Uh, probably need to get up off that couch or that little. Uh, office chair wherever you at go out and mow grass like I need to. I need to mow grass. I need to be out there on the lawn more mowing grass run. Uh, I'm not gonna tell my wife that. I'm just gonna tell her I'll get gas and I'll mow it tomorrow. Uh, anyway, God bless. I said deer season for us is coming up within the next week or two for a rifle and I'm out telling everybody again, be careful. Be careful. If you play stupid today, you may have to pay for it tomorrow. Okay? Alright. God bless. Play hard. 
be safe. Talk to you later.